I've relented. I'm going to show. I'm going to show how I remove the cam guides, the cam followers, not cam guides, cam followers. I'll only do one so that you get an idea of how I do it. Valves are out, so this has virtually nothing to press down onto. Not easy. Uh, actually, I haven't tried it like this. Onto the edge. Oh, that works. Up until now, I've been using a spacer, a bridge. But this seems to work. I've got it on the edge. We'll see. If it suddenly disappears down there, you know it ain't working. That's what I need. I need that space to be able to unscrew to get that screw out. The tappet adjusting screw. As I screw it, you can see the cam follower falling down or some more easier than others. I think I found a French station that doesn't have advertising. Well, I lived in France for a while, so uh, I'm used to hearing that music. <sighs> no, that is ain't going to work. It was tightened up. That nut was a bit tight. There we are. It's free and going into its holder in the right orientation. That is out going into its holder. And uh, let's release the spring. Ah. Well, it released itself. And got stuck, and got stuck. Fiddly! Keep the orientation correct. Into its place over the valve. I'll do one more. I think I'm going to put that on this time. Do I do one more? How many minutes? Six minutes. Uh, no, you get the general.